When asked the question, who is your favorite character in film? Or what's the best performance in a movie? Who or what comes to mind? Some might say Brad Pitt's Tyler Durden. Others might say Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker, Uma Thurman's Bride, Orson Welles' Charles Foster Kane, Jodie Foster's Clary Starling, or likewise, Anthony Hopkins' Hannibal Lecter, Tom Hanks's Forrest Gump. The list goes on and on. Indeed, these are all excellent characters, and those were brought to life by authentic and thought-out performances. However, when I'm asked this question, my mind goes to one character by one actor. Elwood P. Dowd is portrayed by cinema classic Jimmy Stewart in the 1950 film Harvey, adapted from Mary Chase's 1944 stage play of the same name. Elwood is a 30-something, 40-something year old man living with his sister Veta and her daughter Myrtle May. He's empathetic, thoughtful, warm-hearted, and charismatic. Oh, and he has an invisible six-foot rabbit friend named Harvey. Harvey, I, it seems that Veda is having a party this afternoon, and I... Th hmm? Oh, you knew. I'm not going to spoil the film in this essay, don't worry. The story means the world to me. I portrayed Elwood in high school, and ever since then, this character has been one of my primary moral compasses. However, I'd like to point out one particularly amazing acting moment in the film. During this sequence in the third act, the two characters on the left, Dr. Sanderson and Nurse Kelly, have found Elwood after searching around town and strike up a conversation with him in the back alley of his favorite bar. He says he doesn't seem to have much time anymore to do things like dancing, as he has so much to do. Nurse Kelly asks, what is it you do, Mr. Dowd? Well, Harvey and I sit on the bars and have a drink or two, play the jukebox. Jimmy Stewart's performance, if it could be summed up in a single word, is warm, earnest. He doesn't have any malintent about telling the story about the people he meets or his friendship with Harvey. Here he is describing what happens when he introduces Harvey to others. And then... I introduced them to Harvey. You can see how excited he is to introduce his new friends to Harvey the rabbit. He leans forward, clasping his hands, and his voice goes even softer. I introduced them to Harvey. And he's bigger and grander than anything they offer me. He's describing his reverence for the rabbit, the effect Elwood and Harvey have on those they meet. He's proud of his friendship. And, and when they leave, they leave him impressed. Elwood leaves the moment in his mind, almost taken aback by how wondrous those happy meetings are. He reflects, scratching his chin and slumping his shoulders. Even as he describes how he never sees the people he introduces to Harvey again, most likely to them considering him loony, he isn't frustrated. And, and when they leave, they leave him impressed. The same people seldom come back, but that's, that's envy, my dear. There's a little bit of envy on the best of us. And that's too bad, isn't it? There's some melancholy there, some sadness, but he always ends with a smile. That's who Elwood is to me. A man who treats everyone with love and respect, kindness and a listening ear. He listens to others tell him their sorrows and speaks with a deep appreciation of what they've told him. He is the epitome of a good man. In this world, Elwood, you must be oh so smart or oh so pleasant. Well, for years I was smart. I recommend pleasant.